Hi guys, my name is Diana, and welcome to the August episode of Inno Games TV. In case you're wondering, this is what happens when you lose a bet. So now that we have that out of the way, let's go right to the overview. We start the show off with Forge of Empires introducing their summer event. Then we move over to Elvenar where the team shows us their first event. After that, Gordon from the Travel Wars 2 team explains to us the mass recruitment feature. Last but not least, Grappola shows us something interesting in the game. So let's go to T and Kai and see what that's all about. Hello T, what are you doing? Aloha Kai, I'm just working on my tan. It's summer, the sun's out, I love it. But we're inside. Anyway, it's summer and that means the Forge of Empire Summer Casino is back. It sure is. Let's dive into the game and take a look. The Forge of Empires summer event is here. Greva has once again opened her summer casino, and this year she was inspired by the tropical paradise of Polynesia. At Greva's casino, you'll spin the Wheel of Fortune to win great prizes. The wheel is shared among your neighborhood, so you'll need to be quick and spin it if there's a prize you really want. Otherwise, someone in your neighborhood might get it. Each prize on the wheel can be won four times. Once all four instances of a prize are taken, you can no longer get the prize. If you happen to land on that empty prize when you spin the wheel, you'll get the prize next to it. If you see a prize on the wheel that you definitely want, you can click or tap on the spin button to try to win it. However, if none of the prizes pique your interest, you can elect to refresh and spin. This will reset all the prizes on the wheel, and since the wheel is shared in your neighborhood, everyone will see the new set of prizes. Every spin made by you in your neighborhood is counted towards the neighborhood goal. Every 77 spins will reward you and everyone in your neighborhood 20 medals. When the goal is reached, it is reset so you and your neighborhood can have a go at more medals. Sounds really fun, but there's more! To spin the Wheel of Fortune, you'll need tickets. Every spin will cost you one ticket. You can earn tickets from Greva and the other quest givers by completing quests. Follow the story of Greva's new business idea for a summer casino and be rewarded for your help. As for the prizes, there are four new buildings. First, there's the Luau, a production building with different production options. Then we have two residential buildings, the Pole House and Fishing Hut. When these two residentials are motivated, they'll give you some extra resources, medals from the Pole House and goods from the Fishing Hut. Finally, to complete the set, we have the Tiki Totem decoration. And like previous years, there are also new player portraits to be won as well. Finally, a new addition to this year's summer event is that whenever you complete a quest, a ticket will be hidden in the wilderness. So guys, there you have it, the Forge of Empire summer event. We hope you have lots of fun playing, we hope you let us know what you think, and we will see you next time. Bye! Well, that was cool, but now let's move on to Elvenar, where the team shows us, for the first time ever, their new summer event. Damn! This is bright! I can barely see a thing. Luckily, we have our sunglasses in this room. And now that summer solstice has arrived at Elvenar, things are very shiny these days. You might ask yourself, isn't solstice supposed to be in June? Nope, not at Elvenar. As Elvenar has slightly different seasons, summer solstice falls into August. Tandriel and Melissa are celebrating the longest night of the year together with all humans and elves for three weeks. You will see two new quest lines, one sequential chain of quests and one daily quest. They will provide you with precious moon splinters, which you can use to open magical treasure chests. Open the event screen to find the chests. You will see all possible rewards by hovering on them. Even more exciting, on the top left you will see the daily exclusive, which in most cases is a unique building you can win with a bit of luck. On top of that, you will even be granted an additional reward by collecting sun flares. You can get them every time you open one of the three magical chests. Once you have earned enough sun flares, you will be able to unlock all grand prizes at the top right corner. Each of these ones are very powerful and especially unique. That's it, Elvenar people. Enjoy the summer event and don't forget to collect as many moon splinters as you can. Stay tuned, until next time! Now let's say hi to Gordon from the Travel Wars 2 team, who explains to us the mass recruitment feature. Building thousands of units in hundreds of villages? You know what time it is. It's time for the mass recruitment feature. Well, that was fast. 
Let's take a closer look at the feature. So, the new mass recruitment feature for Tribal Wars 2 is a brand new time-saving tool that will allow you to control the recruitment of your troops in all your villages simultaneously. This feature can be found in the Unit Overview section or with the W hotkey. First, activate the feature. Select the villages you wish to choose with your presets. Then, type in the final amount of units you wish to recruit. Hovering over the mass recruitment buttons will give you a preview of what you will recruit. The villages will try to fulfill the orders to the best of their ability, but population and resource limits apply. The units you selected will be auto-saved in the input field, so repeat recruitment is easy to complete. A small example. If a village has 20 spearmen, and I want to build a final amount of 100 spearmen, I will end up adding a recruitment order of 80 spearmen in this village. 100 is the total we want to build. It is not added on top. Following this logic, if I want a total of 100 spearmen, and a village has 100 spearmen already, no spearmen will be recruited, as the final order was already met. We know our veteran players have been waiting for this feature for a long time, and we're really happy that we could deliver. We really want to move the game away from cumbersome tasks, and we wanted to focus more on military strategy. So yeah, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Last but not least, let's move over to Grappolis, which shows us something cool in the game. Hey guys, I'm Niels, game designer of Grappolis, and today I'm going to tell you about the stuff we recently added to the game. One smaller but very helpful thing we added is some additional feedback in terms of colonization, new islands. First, we're going to pick a color ship, some defense units, and a transport ship. Here we go. We added an info on the current color ship being on its way on top of the screen. Clicking on it will reveal even more information about the foundation of your new city. Where did it start? Where is it going? How long does it take until a colonization at the target spot starts? When the ship has arrived and the founding of the city has started, you finally get some clear info with the icon above it. That's it concerning the improved colonization feedback. And now let's go for a second topic. Lately we made the awards you could earn visible, by adding the grappler score and even adding a few more awards. After that you were asking for more combat related awards. So here we go. We added 36 new combat awards in total. Half of it you will earn by supporting another player city and killing off units which are attacking it. That's why the awards cover only the offensive units and not the swordsmen for example. The second type of new awards can be earned by killing units which are attacking one of your own cities. Last but not least we thought it would be great to acknowledge the dedication some players put into earning awards. That's why we created the world's first badge. This one can only be earned by one of the players per world. The first one completing all levels of an award will get it. So that's it for today. Enjoy the sun and see you in game. Well that was it for the August episode of InnoGames TV. If you like this episode, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and if you have any additional comments, leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you next month. Bye!